hey hi all good morning good afternoon uh, good night so today I had uploaded one video for the pick pack and post process where we talked about the 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 simple flow of the material yeah for the picking perspective if I have different different activity area those are combined into the into a higher level activity area then how the the picking flow should look like yeah so that was the basic concept that we covered in the previous video this video I particularly created to have a I will say closer look at the moment of handling unit a moment of pick HU in the pick pack process so most of you will be already aware that once we are doing picking in the RF then picking in the RF you by default it's a two-step procedure it means first you are picking the stock and the stock will be assigned to a resource and in the second step system will release the stock from resource and it will put into the destination bin or uh, you can say the final bin or whatever it is so that's the uh, basic uh, i will say the the conceptual picking information in the rf now here we talk about let's say uh, in this saber transaction you can see the based on the warehouse number activity area and activity yeah i have the starting point and end point so normally we can have it same but if my let's say one of my activity area yeah it's really big and i cannot have the same bin at the at the start point at the end point then it really makes sense to have the separate bins yeah to track the material movement so here we created uh, i created the separate bins to indicate the start and the end point for each of the activity area okay so we will closely monitor the moment of the handling unit that's very important how the handling unit are getting moved from one activity area to another activity area and what are the roles of these yeah starting point and end point so let's say we will also talk about here this this details once we talk about this uh, 3050 for example this WBT for moving the handling unit to resource this 3050 so we will see what is the importance of this into the pick pack process so this assignment we do at the warehouse level so like other assignment so we assign a default WPT for the HO moment to resource so this we will see okay so for example I have just created a outbound I will say outbound delivery order which is having three items yeah so once one is getting to be picked from activity area C 009c next one is 9d and next one is 009e so i have a warehouse order i have a outbound delivery for which i have to really pick stock from three different activity areas c d and e so if you have a look at the warehouse order here now you can see 138 139 and 140 these three these are the three warehouse orders and i have a highest level warehouse order because this activity area this 9c 9d and 9e these are actually assigned to a higher level activity area yeah here so that's the reason they are now club into a higher level warehouse order and this is the subsequent warehouse order we already talked about the concept of this in the previous video so what it means and how the things are going to work so now let's have a closer look at the warehouse task confirmation so here I am now going to log to the to the first picker I will say that is from the activity area 009c so let's go to the RF please and then we will see yeah so let's go to the system guided queue and into the queue number so you can see this uh, order number is 138 is already coming here order number 138 so I will put go to the warehouse task so that we can monitor it all the time so first thing I have to create a pick handling unit so the packaging material proposal is already coming I have to just create a pick at you and let us see if something has been changed here or not okay nothing absolutely this is the first activity area i'm going to pick so i had just prepared my pick at you i print it and print the HU label or whatever so i go to next and i 
do the validation of the, the data. And then we will see what's happening in the status of the warehouse task and warehouse orders. So the first step of picking is done in the RF. Okay, and now you can see this should go after the picking, the stock should go to the this 009C end bin. It's so this is the bin that is assigned as a end bin. I will say for this, you can see this activity area. This is 9C end. So that's the reason it's going here. Yeah, system will read this customizing and then not the customizing system will do this master data setup and then it will go to the 009c meanwhile let's check what changes we see here so you can see here now what's up so uh stock is picked from the let's say the source bin it will go to the to the resource yeah 009c underscore picker and then you can see from the picker it will go to the 009C. So this is how it looks like the moment how it looks like. So first let's confirm it and let us see what's going on now. So until now I have not confirmed it completely. I'm here. But before that you can see this that from source I will say resource it will go to the 009C. So let's confirm this and after that see the changes was going on there now this is confirmed so here you can see there will be a new warehouse task also created you can see now the so in reality the picking from the first activity area 009c is already done so system pick the stock put it to the resource from the resource let me do it like that from resource it will put to the end bin of the first activity area and this 3050 this WPT now it's what it's doing actually it's moving the moving the Pikachu from and bin of the first activity area to the you can see this start bin of the next activity area right this one you can see 0090 start so because normally it looks like this this also because yeah you have done the picking from the first activity area now your Pikachu should be it must be on the start bin of the next activity area so why it's going to 009 day start because you have put that bin here that for 009 day activity area my start should be 009 day. so these all things are happening once you confirm the first warehouse order for the first activity area so this should be clear to you right that first moment always from source to destination resource and then from resource to go to the end of the first activity area and then end of the first activity area it will go to the start of the next activity area so this is the basic flow that will be keep on going so here also you can see the status now this is confirmed yeah this is open now initially it was also in the waiting status or logging status so now i can go and confirm the warehouse order uh, warehouse task number let's say this one i should be able to confirm now this 183 so i will confirm the corresponding warehouse order for the 183 warehouse task yeah and this you can see we already also talked about this in our previous video that this 9020 is the destination gi zone but system will change it while confirming the warehouse task because it it comes to know that this is connected with the pick pack and cross process so how the technical connection is done we will also try to cover in the next video where i will put some technical details yeah which function modules or which class or methods is getting triggered and what are the technical things the code is reading and based on that it's changing the destination bin and it's also creating let's say the task to move the let's say hu from uh, end of one activity area to start of another activity area so i will again go to now i will go to the picker of the next queue which is 90 i will say 
here you go and i can go with the the h2 because now i have the the h2 labels with me so let me have the handling unit here please it should be copied let's see no Come on. Okay, now done. So now I am confirming the picking first. So here, the most important thing, what you have to actually see is here. You can see. Let me go to this warehouse task, please, and then come on here. Yeah. So the moment I uh, just go to the next, yeah, there will be something happen in the background that we will see here, you see. You see there is automatically, once I just press enter, uh, once I go to the next on this, the RF, system automatically create a task and now it will move my, let's say the uh, handling unit from start of the my current activity area to the my resource yeah because you know the stock was here in the previous step it was at the next next activity area start bin it was there so now i'm going to start the picking from the my next activity area the second activity area so this is the first moment system is going to do with this wpt3050 that it will take the stock and first put to the the picker yeah you can see there is no change in the the, the real w the real warehouse task this is 183 this one yeah 183 until now there nothing has happened so this is the first task yeah and then same thing i can do it here here for example Come on. So I just did the the picking. I did not confirm the, I will say the the destination data. So we will see what happened here actually. Let's refresh it. So you will see the change here now. The the 183 task number. Yeah. So it has also go to the the destination resource and then there will be another task created to move the stock from a resource to the you can say end of the activity area end of the current activity area yeah so this is happening like this end of the current activity area and now once i confirm this moment yeah once i confirm this one then there should be another task created to move this to the start of the next activity area yeah that is 009e it should have been like that so let's confirm it and see the status here now okay you can see this 191 is now created and it moved the handling unit from end of the current activity area to the start of the next activity area so same same thing it will happen yeah once i going to confirm the next warehouse order my first moment will be the system will take the hu from here this 9009 is start and it will put under the resource yeah and it will also take the stock from 009 activity area put it on the resource from the resource it will now put to the yeah because after this one th after the after the activity area 009 i don't have any further activity area so system will put the stock to the goods issue area but these are the basic concept yeah how the stock movement or how the handling unit movement is going to happen in the pick pack and post process so let's confirm the last one so my a underscore picker i will say I can go with the manual selection because I already have the pallet label with me. So once I press just enter, yeah, the same change like we saw 
in the confirmation of the second warehouse. I just refresh it and you see there is a new warehouse task created. So to move it from the to move it from the start of the uh, current activity area to the resource. Yeah, same like here you can see start of the this to resource. So same like here start of this to resource. Yeah. So let me confirm all these things and then we will see. After this, it will not go to the any next activity area because this is the last activity area from where I'm doing the picking. Come on. Let's confirm it please and then we will see. So now you can also see it's not going to the I will say end of this 009E because this is my last activity area so yeah it will directly go to the good sister zone. So technically speaking technically speaking if you have not maintained the let's say the starting of the the first activity area or you have not maintained this end point of the last activity area nothing is going to happen system is not going to harm you anything because this one and this one are not going to be used yeah you can see here so i have never this 009 start anywhere 009 start i i uh, you can say 009C for example because in our case stock was bit only from 9C D and E so I, I I don't have 009C start anywhere here you can see yeah I have directly 9C end and same I don't have this 009 end yeah I don't have this one so if you have not maintained the the starting point of the first activity area are end point of the last activity area system is not going to harm you but be in safe mode let's maintain it yeah so now uh, everything is done i will say picking has been done for this this delivery you can also check the warehouse order status or, or the delivery status you can see everything is here with the status confirmed 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 so let's post the goods issue and see the status in the ECC. Yes, so six forty four, I think so. So good this is best already posted, so everything looks okay. So this one I created this just to just to tell you, yeah, just to tell you about the the closure movement of the handling unit in the pick back and post process so i hope this will help to you i will try to upload a next video where we will talk about some technical details about the pick back and post process yeah what are the function modules what what are the classes what are the methods yeah based on which line of course system is going to tell us that this is connected with the pick back and post process and yeah based on what it will change the destination bin or based on what yeah uh, it will move the HU from let's say end of one activity area to the start of another or next activity area. So these details we will see in hopefully in the next video. So until that I will say thanks for the watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.